Hi, Phyllis here. My website is southernfrugal.com. So today we're going to make some uh, eggplant parmesan for our main meal of the day. And uh, I bought the smallest little eggplant I could find because it's just the two of us. So we've got to salt it to soak out some of the uh, bitterness that is in eggplants especially if they're bigger. This one probably isn't even bitter, but I'm going to treat it as if it were. So I'm going to cut off the end. Now I am going to leave the uh, skin on it just because the skin is going to give some uh, good fiber. So I'm going to cut these really about an inch thick. And then we're going to salt it down as soon as I get through cutting it. All right. So now all I'm going to do is put some salt on it on both sides. And it's going to uh, sweat. And so we'll leave it, you know, maybe. 20, 30 minutes sitting out and uh, let some of that uh, liquid in it come out along with the bitterness. And now after this, I'm going to actually just rinse that salt off of it. So we'll be back. Let's, let's just leave them for 20 minutes this time. We'll be back. All right. It's been really only about 15 minutes, but I'm ready to go ahead and start on this. Can you all see the water on top of that? So what I'm going to do is just rinse these off in a little bowl of water. Rinse that salt off and put them on one of these little towels little flour sack towels to soak up the water off of them. And we're not going to use any additional salt. See all the water on there? Can y'all see that? Now hopefully we're not going to have any bitterness now. Alright, so while I was waiting uh, for the salt to sweat these out a little bit. I've made up uh, three little bowls. This is flour. Just This is actually self-rising, but all-purpose flour would work just as well. This is one egg with maybe a fourth of a cup of uh, milk. And then we're using the uh, Italian panko breadcrumbs. So I'm going to dry these off real quick. Go ahead and turn my skillet on to a little above medium high. Get these dried off and we're going to uh, first dip them in the flour, get them coated with flour, and then we're going to dip them in the egg and then in the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to move you all over on the other side now. All right, so I've got a little bit of the light tasting olive oil in my pan and I'm going to go ahead and start coating uh, this eggplant slices. First into the flour, and I did leave the peeling on them. I don't usually do that, but the peeling gives you extra um, fiber, so that's a good thing. Mix that in and milk up just a little bit more. First. 
Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is using uh, some of the uh, tomato sauce that I have uh, used for a pizza. It's been in the refrigerator a couple of days and I figured I needed to use it. Alright, so we've got them all coated with flour. Now I'm going to dip them into the uh, crumbs. Skillet. Now, I don't have all that much oil in the skillet. I might have to add more, but it's on a little above medium. I'm hoping I can get all of these in the skillet. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get these fried and turn them over and get them browned on the other side and we'll be back and show you how we assemble this. Alright, we have got our slices of eggplant browned a little bit and I'm, I also went ahead and put some uh, sauce in the bottom of a little casserole here and so now we're going to start layering it. So we're going to put uh, these pieces on the bottom. You can see the little ones first. Put those right down in the bottom. And now we're going to put a little more sauce on these. Spread that out just a little bit. On top of them. Remember, I'm just fixing for two here. Although I think this is more than enough for probably maybe four people actually. And now I've got some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Let's sprinkle over those. Actually, I think we'll go ahead and put one more in. If I can fit it in there. on that. A little sauce. Yeah, so I'm going to have to uh, add a little bit of water to my sauce because I don't think I'm going to have enough. Alright, so we're going to put these on here too. Go ahead and put a little sauce on those. the rest of this now. Get a little water in there. Now when this is in the oven, of course, it's going to shrink up a lot. All right, some more Parmesan cheese. Now this will freeze really well too if, if I have too much. So let me make sure I got all that Parmesan cheese on there. All right. All right, now we're ready for the mozzarella cheese. And this again is some that was left from a pizza. So that's really why I'm making this to be able to use up that sauce. So we're just going to put a ton of that right over the top. And we're going to bake this in the oven for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And uh, that'll finish cooking the eggplant and melt all the cheese down. And it'll be pretty good, I think. All right, y'all, when this gets done, we'll be back. Now I need to be getting some something green with this meal. We'll be back. All right, here's what the uh, eggplant parmesan looks like. And I should have put some uh, aluminum foil over this because the two on the top got really brown, but they'll still be good. And we're also having some of those little steamed uh, green beans from Aldi. 
They are delicious, and we're going to have some sliced cucumbers. All right, let me get this on the plate, and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, here's what the meal looks like. Now, the beans have no salt or seasoning of any kind. They're just delicious that way. And these are sliced cucumbers. These are those little crispy. They're real crispy, no salt or anything on them. And here is the eggplant parmesan. And again, you want to put aluminum foil over it before it gets completely done so you don't get the cheese too brown. There's my plate, and I've got enough left for one other meal. So I'm going to freeze that, and I've got several one-meal deals in the freezer now, so that'll work. We've got our iced tea. All right, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Bye for now.